Hey, it's Jeff Green with Green Financial Group. Thanks for tuning into the video blog today. Today, we're going to talk about what to do when the market makes new highs. Stick around. We'll be right back. We've really had a banner year for stocks, not just uh, in the U.S., but around the world. There's been some great fundamentals uh, with corporate profit growth, uh, growth and uh, economic gains here and abroad. Uh, the U.S. economy saw uh, a 3.3 percent growth in GDP, and that's the second consecutive quarter that has seen above a 3 percent growth, and that hasn't happened in the uh, previous three years. Uh, S&P 500 profits have grown 8.4 uh, percent over the previous year, and some analysts are predicting uh, double-digit growth into uh, 2018. So, with all of these strong gains uh, and economic uh, tailwinds with us right now, some investors are, you know, most investors will do one of two things. They'll either put more money into the markets or they'll contemplate going to the sidelines. So let me offer you this. Timing the market is never a good idea. Let's leave that to the gamblers. The S&P 500 uh, this year alone has seen almost 60 new highs. And that's on top of a string of new highs that we saw throughout 2013. So think for a minute, if you had gotten out of the first time the market made a new high, you would have missed, potentially, a whole bunch of new highs after that, and potentially a whole bunch of gains in the market after that. A new high means one thing. It means the market closed higher on that day than it did the previous day. That's it. It is not necessarily a foreshadowing of a downturn or an imminent downturn on the way. So thanks for tuning in the video blog today. Remember, if you have any questions, reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Have a great day.